Yeah, it's Johnny Grew from WildmanTraining.com. Uh, I want to. Last week I was on vacation. I was down the beach with the family, and I planned on, you know, obviously continuing my training when I was down on vacation. So I figured I'd do some soft sand training. I took uh, my 40-pound weight vest with me, and my basically my plan was to do some later training and doing some walk in in the soft sand with the 40 pound weight vest for a nice you know nice clips during the day or in the morning whatever so what what happened on the way down we lost all our brake lights and tail lights whatever and so when I got down there I had to find a place where I could take it to the shop and they could fix it while I was on vacation so I dropped it off on a Sunday, a Sunday morning. Dropped it off at like 7 in the morning. So I started walking back. We were on 21st Street. This was uh, on 2nd Street. So I walked back, grabbed my vest. I said, well, I'll start today. So I walk up to the boardwalk, walk to the soft sand. And I, uh, I do my walk in the soft sand from 2nd to 21st Street. There's some other names of streets inside so it was more than 21 21st it was more than 21 blocks maybe 23 I don't know but still it was a pretty decent workout but not like I thought it was going to be but later on in the day I was sitting on the balcony and stood up well wait let me get back up earlier in the day after that we were down the beach and I was wrestling around with two of my grandsons and Nothing, nothing major. Later, sitting on the patio, and I get, I go to get up, and I can't put any pressure on my right foot, my heel, my ankle. I don't, I don't know what happened. It wasn't because I didn't twist it or anything. I didn't hurt it. wasn't hurt, but for some reason I couldn't walk. And it took me, you know a day or two to be able to actually walk on it regularly. It's been more than 10 days and I'm still putting ice on my heel. I have no idea what happened. Anyhow, while I was still down there, I figured, well, walking's not a thing for my training. So I said I could have done isometrics. I could have done some other things, but I happened to go to Walmart because my grandson wanted to do some crabbing, so I wanted to get some crabbing things. And I always walk down fitness aisles or you know where weights are and just just to look what they have and walmart actually had a 50 pound kettlebell i don't have any kettlebells the last time i used a kettlebell was actually in high school i tried it didn't really care for it but i was looking for a way to do some training that wouldn't really affect my foot so i bought it and i was doing some kettlebell swings in the parking garage underneath our condo i didn't want to take it out on the beach and look like some fucking tool so I would just do it behind the car and do some kettlebell swings, get a nice, nice, uh, get a little conditioning work out there, breathe a little bit. The reason I'm telling you this is because I could have just quit and decided, well, I'm not going to train this, I'm not going to train this week, I'm going to let it go. I always try to find ways to get around an injury. I don't talk about my injuries. I'm going to be 54 years old. I've played many contact sports throughout my life, martial arts pro wrestling. I've done a lot of things, lift heavy weights, blue collar worker. Uh, it's not that I don't have injuries, I just don't talk about injuries. But I wanted to let people know that, you know, and everyone knows this, that you can always find ways around an injury. I figured the kettlebell wasn't that much money, you know, 60 bucks, whatever. I just bought it, you know, and I'll use it. I've used it maybe six times right now. It's got, it's, I like, I like doing some kettlebell swings. I like doing some one arm carries, thicker handle, you know, but it's just another tool I can use and just want people to know that it's just an excuse if you don't get out there and do something, whether you're injured or not, just get out there and do something later.